Hey guys, how's it going? Scoundrels? Oh, I have got an upgrade. That is an upgraded Agursus Ranger. Uh, what else do I want to put in the field? I kind of want to put this, and I think having just the Cave Clan bonus is going to be better than having just a random God of War, and then I'll pick up Tusk Champion. So, how are you doing, guys? Um, all my subscribers, welcome. If you're not subscribed, why not? What? Why not, guys? Why not just hit a sub? Um, if I am slightly nonsensical today, blame the fact that it's champagne time, because I'm going on holiday tomorrow, so I thought, you know, why not? Mm. It's good. So we're going to be playing whatever the game throws at us today. Um, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> that seems to be Hunters, even though my entire channel has been pretty much dedicated to Hunters this last week. Uh, and I'm getting yet more Igersis Rangers. Uh, do I level up here? I think I'm just going to level up here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a load of Warriors on. Uh, or I could just throw another Igersis Ranger on. He's probably less useful. He's actually less useful. Um when there is actually some kind of race synergy on. He doesn't really do much. It takes a long time for him to get any damage off. And I'll take him. Let's have a look what else everyone else, everyone else is going. Uh, no one going Hunters. Why is no one going Hunters? That is what I don't get. It's so popular, or it should be so popular. It's an incredibly good build. What I'm going to do is once I find Umbra, I'm going to whack her on the field, or I can find Igersis or Evil Knight as well. But, um... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a hunter game. At least, at least the start of it looks like it's going to be a hunter game. Uh, we'll we'll just have to see where we go from from this point forward. But we did obviously find a lot of Agersis Rangers at the start, which is always a good start if you're playing hunters. Now I just need to find Umbra and Dwarf Sniper. It's Red Axe Chief, mm. Skybreaker. Can I sell enough? So I've got I've got one, four. I got I can literally sell everything and get to ten gold, or I could sell all of this and get to ten gold. Which, if I win, all of this if I win and get to ten gold, which is kind of what I'm considering doing in this scenario because I'm already in a good spot. I'm pretty good set up for hunters, so that's probably where I'm going to start. Depends if I beat this guy, um, who actually looks pretty scary. If I'm honest with you, my swordsman's getting absolutely battered. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to lose. We'll see. Yeah, there's just a lot of good night shields going on here. So let's not bother selling anything. And we will just go on the next round. In fact, let's just take that. And take that. Yeah, we uh, we ended up losing. And, yeah, I mean, he just got some really good night shields, to be honest with you. He's also got a pretty strong comp already. Thunder Spirit and Ogre Mage. Are we actually looking at a pivot into mages here? New. No, let's just sell everything. Let's just sell all the mages. Silly mages. We don't want mages. We want hunters, because no one is going hunters right now. We're still going to level up on curve, by the way. We're still going to level up to level six in two rounds' time. Um, I I got an Umbra on round two, and I maybe should have locked it. That's maybe a mistake what I, that I made here. Umbra would, actually would have given me a good start, but I'm obviously also looking for things like... Oh, no, no! I'm also looking for things like Dwarf Sniper, of course. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to lose this one as well. We haven't... I mean, honestly, Agursus Ranger is actually a really bad unit. <laughs> Agursus Ranger is actually terrible. But we're okay. We're okay losing. We've got... We, we, we sold up to 10 gold for a reason. There's Umbra. Nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to put Umbra on. We're going to take the Swordsman. We could play We could play Cave Clan Hunters. That could be a thing. So we want to keep her. These guys we can't actually sell, so let's take the... We're never going to use Winter Carap Terror, but let's take, the, let's take the Heaven Muller. So next round we're definitely going to level 6, whatever happens, I think. Uh, we are looking for a Dwarf Sniper, of course. I will take any Hunter at this point, but obviously the end goal for me is going to be Dwarf Sniper. And look at look at how Igersis, the Igersis bonus early on has helped me uh, improve my lineup considerably. Sweet. Right, we're back in the driving seat. We're back in the driving seat. What's the economy looking like? Yeah, this guy is doing well for a Lost Streak economy. Uh, Evil Knight. Interesting. Interesting. So we could sell, sell, 
sell. Take that. Do we want to kill off our cave clan dreams? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we do. I'm sorry, but we do want to kill off our cave clan dreams. Um, because we could get four Agurtas in really early. So this guy looks pretty strong. Maybe he's playing... What is he playing? I don't really know what he's playing. Whatever he's playing, he's absolutely destroying me. I didn't level up. That's where I went wrong. Too busy doing other things. I also blame the slight amount of champagne that I've had. So there's Dwarf Sniper. That's fantastic. Uh, it also means we can level up and stick him on. There we go. I will take the random Red Axe. I'm not going to take Wind Ranger because this is the combo of units. I, I, I'm kind of feeling running that, um, that Night Comp again because I thought it was really strong. Running the... The like the the Dragon Knight Hunter comp. I think it's probably one of the strongest in the game right now. So that's what I'm trying to look to run. Cool. We should we should we shouldn't lose. I mean, if we lose to the these guys, we we are really sad. I think we should be fine. Though. Nice dwarf dwarf sniper coming through big. So we have got we've definitely got a frantic mask. And I think we've got... How far are we away from Disarm? I don't know. We'll figure that out eventually. I mean, I went too early for Claw Wand last time round. We were playing a game yesterday where I went for a Claw Wand. And actually, I thought there were going to be more mages than that there were. Basically, there just weren't that many mages. Uh, we're definitely buying her. Let's sell off all of these guys not going to make a difference to my income this round unless i just sack off the sack off the warrior bonus which i might just do to be honest with you i'm just actually going to get rid of those guys altogether i want to get up to 30 gold i think it's important the extra gold income could be really important we're just looking for the um the the four cost the soul reaper So I think we're going to lose this, of course, because he's got a... Uh, close to us actually getting some work done there. But um, it is what it is. Oh, he actually lost to me somehow. All right, let's see where we go. Absolutely diddly, diddly squat. Well, we're going to level up to level 7 next turn, whatever happens, so let's just run with it. No one playing Hunter. I don't know why. Why is no one playing Hunter? Someone, someone please tell me. If we get the four Agursis, we should be good uh, to beat, like, most warriors. Uh, we'd probably need to add a Dark Spirit in later on, but I don't think we'll have too much of an issue. Oh, Umbra is going to get slammed here. So let's start thinking about what we're going to take. So I think we're definitely taking this because I want at least one Frantic Mass. Now, the question is, this is probably the best wooden club to take. And then we have a few things. All right, there we go. That's nice. That's a good. That's a good pickup. Um, right. I'm gonna take Doom here, and I'm also gonna level up. I'm gonna put Doom in randomly, and I also just randomly put her in, I guess. And then we're essentially gonna hope that we win. Well, no, we don't even need to hope that we win, but it would be nice if we did, because that would get us up to thirty gold. Yeah, this guy's got five units on the field. Unless he, like, crits the crap out of us with Shadow Crawler, we should be fine. Looks like he's actually critting the crap out of us with Shadow Crawler, which is, um... That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> that's actually kind of unfortunate. He had five units. 
Assassins are really good in this meta, to be fair. Assassins are actually really good in this meta, so, you know, I'm not too salty about that. We need our Gali Knight. That's what we're looking for. Oh, we actually need Hell Knight. I just completely forgot. All right, we'll take that. Cool. Uh, yeah, I guess um, do that. Sell that. Randomly put a unicorn on, because why the hell not? Come on, Kim. I know you've had a good amount of champagne, but let's uh, let's keep our heads screwed on. Someone said in the comments today, and I didn't really get it. I I sound like I'm being I'm playing being held hostage, like my family's being held hostage. Maybe that was the case when I was uh, wasn't too into the game, but I definitely don't feel like that now. I feel like I'm having quite a lot of fun in this meta, mainly because I actually really liked hunters, and hunters are actually just super strong right now. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Hunters are good? Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. Of course you do. Um, so what are we looking for? Obviously, we want a two-star Dwarf Sniper. That would be absolutely excellent. Uh, as per tradition, the game is very reluctant to give me a two-star Dwarf Sniper. This is just this is just tradition. No, no need to worry. This is literally just tra tradition of the game. I'm at 50 gold. He's playing Glacier Glacier Demon. Uh this guy's also at 50 gold. Yeah, so we um we do need to start. I think we need to go to level eight. I think we need to go to level eight. And then at level nine we can bring the dragon bonus on. And usually that dragon is Frostfire Dragon, because it gives us the um the you know the synergy of warlocks. The thing that the synergy of warlocks. <laughs> it gives us the synergy of warlocks. Please don't say I'm gonna die. No, I should be fine. I I should, being the imperative word. Should being the imperative word here. Come on, dwarf sniper. This is all you. All you. Please? Oh my god. We did it. Uh broken sword. We have that, which is in that is not particularly useful for hunters anymore, unfortunately. Um I'm just gonna roll. And there we have it. The cat is out of the bag. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but we have this thing. I can now put that on as well. I need to buy the Dwarf Sniper, so let's just hope that we win. We should win with four Agursis, like surely. So let's think. Wooden Club, and I think we take this. We obviously take this. And I think that we can take this. So, I actually don't mind... I actually don't even mind giving... Um, I really don't mind giving uh, Frantic Master even just a one-star Dwarf Sniper. This can be combined into that, but it is completely useless for Hunters, so there's just no point. Uh, we made it back to 50 gold, and that's excellent. So I'm actually going to give this to him. I'm also then going to give this to him and also give this to him and also give this to him and then I'm going to give some defense to my Hell Knight because obviously I want to get him to 3 star if I can help it uh, that right there is the signal to start leveling to level 8 because a 2 star Dwarf Sniper is going to absolutely give me the boost that I need so now we're looking for Dragon Knight we're also looking for Agali Knight and we want to go to level 8 that's basically our plan at this point now and then at uh, level 9, we want to get our Frostfire Dragon. But we are in a good spot, my friends. Fear you not. We are in a good spot. Uh, we just need to see how many people are playing Knights right now. Hmm. One player. One player is playing Knights. How? What, what is this lobby? This is actually a ranked game, by the way. Sometimes I do play casuals when I'm trying to play a fun build. But this is, this is genuinely a ranked game. And... I am genuinely being faced with the uh, the prospect of me being the only hunter player and this guy being the only knight player. Obviously, oh no, wait, there's a new hunter player. New hunter player has entered the field. Chepsty. And he's got an absolutely, he's playing the same build as me. This guy knows. This guy knows the correct build to go. Uh, this is uh, 
Miamid, who's playing like the is he playing Glacier Demon? Playing Glacier Demon, right? Yeah. So let's see how Chepsty's getting on. He's actually beating me because is he level eight? No, he's level seven. Oof, close. So I'm actually competing with this guy for the bubble. He has absolutely zero economy, so we are probably okay. I'm going to put another one of these guys on. Right, now we're just chilling. Now we are ch Actually, I'm not even going to put one of those guys on. I'm going to put Venomancer on, just because it gives us the Warlock bonus. Going to sell him. Trust me, we're not going to sell him. So Chepsty... Chepsty's got no economy. So he's also playing the Siren version of this build, which is interesting. Unsure how I feel about playing Siren. The problem is that you have to play Umbra and Agursus Ranger, but then Dwarf Sniper is just the best hunter after that. Uh, this combines that. I don't want to combine that just yet because there are a couple of th there are a couple of things that um, that can combine into. So this is Koi. Ooh, Yuma's facing me again. After parties at my place, if we win, that is. How's Yuma getting on with that? Maybe I could play the four warlock version of this build. Just play two knights instead of instead of three. Two knights instead of four. We could play the four warlock version. That's two dwarf snipers. What in the living hell have I just done? Two dwarf snipers. Well, I should beat this round. Is there another build that I could play with this? If I went to level nine, could I play like a four warlock variation? So combine him. We have three slots and three slots. So we play. What war what warlocks exist? Dark Spirit and Frostfire Dragon, and then go to level 10 and then add in another dragon. Let's do that. Let's just play something different. Let's just play this something different. Um I think we play a Galley Knight over Hell Knight just because a Galley Knight's a bit more of a defensive option. We don't really need the extra damage of Hell Knight. Let's play a four warlock version. Just because I want to play something different. To be honest with you guys. I just want to play something different. Halberd. So we're probably going to be taking Halberd, whatever happens in this situation. And then we have the Venomancer to, re to reduce armor even further. I quite like the idea of this build. Cool. So, there's our Guardian Knight. Let's take that. Sell off him. Nice. Uh, let's roll our Guardian Knight, Umbra. Another Regursus Ranger. So, I'm going to put the other Regursus Ranger on. Just because she benefits from the... Um, she does benefit from the, the, the bonus. So, this is combinable to bag. Alright, we're definitely taking a halberd. Probably on to Evil Knight. Because Evil Knight is probably going to get stacked now. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. This guy's playing. I don't know what this guy's playing. I also want to play something different to the guy in the lobby. I want to play something a bit more fun and four warlocks does sound like a good time. 30% lifesteal. Sounds awesome. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds hilarious. We beat Joe pretty convincingly. So we do actually need to start leveling up. Um, I'm going to put a couple... I'm going to roll and put a couple of levels in every so often. That's another... So Dwarf Sniper, absolutely your Dwarf Sniper over a Gersis Ranger every every day of the week. That's almost always the case. Really happy with that because it's putting us on the path towards a three-star Dwarf Sniper, which would be absolutely ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. to clear up my desk. Alright, well I'm out of champagne. That's an unfortunate realisation that I've just come to. So we should be okay here. Yep. Absolutely crushed him. Hey, I'm I'm really liking the idea of this build. So then we go to level 10 and we can add another dragon. What dragon would that be? Dragon Knight probably not the best dragon in that situation. Um... What dragon could it be? I don't know. We'll get there in the end. We'll figure it out. So that's a three-star opportunity over here. I do want to try and upgrade some of my stuff every so often, but I'm gonna like I'm kind of like gonna split my economy between leveling and rolling because I want to get a two-star evil knight and a two-star a garlic knight at the very least. I would really like to think about three-starring an evil knight. If I'm honest with you, there is a guy. This guy's got like. 50,000 evil knights though over here Wait, I'm, I'm out of that. I'm not sure while I was drinking it
Oh, this is actually uh, this is actually close, but I think we're going to get away with it because he's at round twenty three and still using goblins. Unless you're getting six goblins, it's not the it's not the look that you want. So Yuma's actually winning something now. Uh, yeah, we need to go to level nine, I think. Actually, that is a venomancer. I will take it. That's kind of like an olive, olive branch. I'll roll once. Nothing. These three are in the wings of getting upgraded, and then we're going to go to level nine on the neutral round. And then we're going to look to three-star our Dwarf Sniper, three-star our Aragosis Ranger, two-star our Frontline, and in two more Warlocks. So we're going to be looking to add in Dark Spirit and Frostfire. That's a double legendary. I think that's probably the best choice. Yes. Yes, that's just, just that's, that is definitely the best choice. Oh, he's got a three-star um, Taboo Witcher with this. Why would you give that to Taboo Witcher? I don't understand. There's so many better options in your, in your lineup for that. Oh no, the okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Double um double dwarf sniper will win this pretty easily. Frost Knight, even at level three, is actually just terrible. Why why am I playing better when I've had alcohol? I don't get it. I'm playing better than I usually do. Tsunami Stalker. Not relevant for me, but I will take it because he's he just he's just coming in. So now I'm going to focus on getting my three stars before going to level 10 because the dragons are not so important. The dragons are like a nice addition at the end. Uh, right now, the most important thing for me is getting my two stars and then also getting my four warlocks on the field. We want Venomancer, Dark Spirit, um, Frostfire Dragon. And then eventually we'll add another dragon to make sure Frostfire Dragon is a thing. But yeah, four warlocks is going to be fun. Should be fine. I'm just bringing loads of random variations. That is excellent. I think I'm I'm just almost certainly going to do that straight away. Um, so let's start rolling to look for some other. So there's Dark Spirit. So we've got one. We've got one now. It's another Dwarf Sniper. I'm going to sell him. It's another Dwarf Sniper. I'm going to sell her. Jesus... Mary and Joseph. What am I even putting on? Another Rogali Knight, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to combine that. Christ on a bicycle. I was not expecting to get three-star Dwarf Sniper that easily, but turns out I've got him. And I've now got Infused Mask. I don't have that much damage, though. I'm actually lacking. I've actually got quite a lot of I've got a mix. I didn't really get that many drops, you see. That's the thing. Like, I got obviously got the selections, but I didn't get that many drops. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, Umbra, cool. We're looking for Frostfire Dragon of some sort. Okay, so now I actually need to bring on something else like him. We could just put any random Warlock on, I suppose, but... Yeah, okay, like, I need to stop being picky and just put any random warlock on at this point in time. I want a Gersis Ranger away from a three-star Gersis Ranger. This comp's pretty fun, though. We just need to, uh, once we get the fourth warlock, we'll start to go to level 10, and then we can just chill. Uh, we are slightly weak to mages, though. I will I will be completely fair about that. We are very weak to mages. I'm, I'm hoping if I pick up a life crystal, I can maybe get a... Um, I can maybe get that thing. But he's like he's he's there. He's not that good. Wooden club. Interesting. Strange egg. I'm gonna keep it for a legendary. Frost fire dragon. Literally everything that we needed. Um I'm not gonna take the Agali Knight for the time being. Uh, I'm gonna save this, of course, for a legendary. I am um, No! Damn it! I'm an idiot. I I really just did not mean to do that. I I really didn't mean to do that. Jesus, pooping poopy skims. All right, so we've got four. <laughs> we've got four warlocks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was trying to swap their positions, guys. I was trying to swap their positions. I wonder if this guy look look how much HP he regens. He's basically unkillable. Oh my gosh. I'm smiling because this build is hilarious. 
Uh, I'm going to take the evil knight. I'm going to keep rolling to just... There we go. I've got a three-star aggressive ranger now. Really want... Um, okay, I've redeemed myself. Kind of. Well, we've got a three-star umber in the works. He's got a three-star shadow crawler now. That's a little bit scary. Need to be a bit careful. Positioning-wise, what am I doing? Uh, I want to move him over. I want him to two star, for co of course. So the armor gets reduced even further, and then my, and then my just dwarf sniper just like one shots everybody. Actually, pretty crazy. How am I doing versus this guy? Are we are we crushing him? He's out, right? Yeah, we we, we donked him. Dracula mask. That is a second. That is a second one of those. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's keep those. Take the Argali Knight. Yeah, we, we can do we can work with this. I'm not gonna combine him just yet because there is a chance if we find more we could use the egg. Do we want to get the dragon bonus or do we care? Or do you just want to start two starring and three starring stuff? The dragon bonus actually doesn't matter that much. Maybe Umbra becomes a bit of a, a bit of a better frontliner if we get the dragon bonus. Maybe for the sake of the video, we should get the dragon bonus. I don't know. We'll have a look. Magicka Staff. Runehammer. So Runehammer's definitely being combined to that. And then definitely going to combine that to that. Yeah. We've got some good items. Uh, I'm going to give that to Dark Spirit. I am then going to roll a little bit down to here. And then put some experience in. Hmm. Yeah, I think I go to level 10. I go to level 10 and just put... Because actually it helps versus assassins. It helps a decent amount versus assassins. Look at all these hunter builds. The hunters are just so insanely flexible. It's actually just really fun to play. Like, I can start with the base of hunters and then just build whatever I want after that. Um... They should be more contested in my games than they are, but for some reason they are not. Uh, not very contested at all right now, actually, if I'm honest with you. So Joe's got a three-star Shadow Crawler. Um, luckily, look at the regen on my Dwarf Sniper. Absolutely ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. He's playing Goblin Assassin. Okay. Taking a, taking a leaf out of my book, I see, mate. Taking a leaf. Kind of tempted to give that to him, but I'll I'll give it to... I'll give it... Uh, actually, I'm going to give the armor to my Dwarf Sniper. All right, nothing. We're going to put one level up. Didn't get anything on those rolls. I don't think I'm going to get a three-star Agali Knight. I want to keep my bench as free as possible. He needs to be two-star for sure. Then I've got these guys, who I'd really like to use an egg on Dark Spirit specifically, but it doesn't matter too much. I've got no worries versus this guy. He's only got a two-star um, Fallen Witcher, and even then, the Fallen Witcher's not... He's just got he's just got offensive items on him. The problem is when you run just offensive items on Fallen Witcher, um, he just goes down really quickly. I can show you a thing or two. So let's actually just start leveling here. So we're gonna get level ten next turn, and then we can then we can look for our third dragon. I'm not sure what dragon that will be. Like Dragon Knight doesn't make that much sense. So I'm thinking Venom because Venom's a really good like individual target deal like damage dealer and he'll also potentially slow the um highest attack speed uh unit so i think venom's like a better individual unit than dragon knight but dragon knight would benefit from the two knight bonus and also does good damage but i, I genuinely genuinely think that venom would be better in this scenario i think venom's just he, he's got good single target damage so this is joe again has he got any armor? he's not got any armor in his shadow cooler i'm actually gonna lose to him though interesting i lost to joe that's maybe why um, the armor's good on my... Uh, there's Umbra. Okay. Just going to put Umbra on again. So I'm really just looking for a two-star him, and then I'm trying to get a two-star two -star Dark Spirit, I suppose. wonder if I should put... Yeah, I'm going to put him there, I think. We're looking for another dragon now, so we're looking for Venom. Specifically looking for Venom, realistically. I could also use the egg to get a three-star Umbra, 
which would be good with the dragon bonus. Wow, I absolutely crushed this guy. This is this guy's not particularly strong though. Let's have a look at Joe. Um, oh, this is um, it really it, it's coming down very close to the, close to the wire. So this is completely useless on him. This is this is genuinely completely useless. I'll combine that though. But it does give him some evasion, so why not? It's not the best item in the world for this chap, though. Umbra. It's another Soul Reaper. Screw it. It's an egg. I'm just going to do the Umbra. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna take the um I'm gonna take the just put an evil knight on. Oh, is that another frantic mask? No, 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 that's uh what's that? Okay. So there's the dark spirit. I'm gonna egg the dark spirit. We are looking for one more dragon, and that really should be okay, so there's double dragon knight here. I guess I just put the dragon on for the time being. I want him to be a little bit more central. I'll work with Dragon Knight if I can get him to two. If I can get Dragon Knight to two. That's good. This is versus Joe. Okay, so this has actually helped out a lot because uh, I'm, I'm immediately getting the crossover. And this, I mean, he's still strong. He's still really strong. That didn't work out that well. Hmm. I ain't getting Soul Reaper to, th to three. Uh, try and do that. What's Joe's positioning like? Who do I want to cut off from one side to the other? I want to cut off his... Um, I don't really want to leave any spaces in my back line, though. What I do need to do is do that, maybe. Let's see how I, I mean I'm gonna beat this guy, so let's see how I do versus Joe on his screen. He's got I mean he's goblin he's goblin, so I'm just I'm struggling to No, we're gonna beat him. Okay. It's just it just seems a bit like when I my Dark Spirit Ultimate gets placed. I told you Goblin Assassins is, is genuinely strong. I don't know if you saw my video today, but but Goblin Assassin is genuinely a very strong build. Um, I do think if I can get a Venom, I'll go for Venom. That's a Frostfire Dragon 2. Yeah, let's sell off him. So Frostfire Dragon 2, that's quite nice. I'll, I'll replace him for Venom, because Venom's going to be much more useful. This is the, the Dragon Knight's not really getting me anything other than being like a kind of tank. Umbra's buying me a lot of time, which is really nice. Yeah, I'm going to combine that. So we beat him fairly convincingly here. Oh my god, I'm getting so much HP back as well. At least you get to watch me win. How is Miamid still in the game? That's what's, that's what's confusing me. Okay, so we have combined that to him, who I'm going to put there. Okay, that's quite nice. I'm, there's Venom. Okay, right, sweet. I'm going to sell off him. I'm going to buy Venom, put Venom on. Venom does better for me than, uh, than than anyone else. The reason I'm putting these guys around here is I want them to be as tight. Like, I want to basically protect my Dwarf Sniper as much as physically possible. The armor also is going to help me reduce the damage that comes in from the Shadow Crawler. But there isn't any real, like, isn't any crazy fancy positioning that I can do right now. I just think this is, this is kind of the best thing I can do. Oh, I've got this. Okay, so I want to combine that to make Mjolnir. Of course. Axe of Fury's not exactly particularly good. So how am I doing here? Uh, so my... Okay, so he's, he's crushing me there. Broken Sword, Magic Crystal. It's combinable. Okay, yeah, for sure. That's another Frostfire Dragon. I don't think I'm going to get much out of that. I'm not going to be going for a three-star, I can tell you that. 
Glacier Clan. We want a three-star evil knight. That's what we're aiming for. Uh, let's do this so we can basically... I mean, I actually don't really care about Venom. Venom is just purely there. Venom is purely there to use one ult and then die. And hopefully that ult hits Shadow Crawler. <laughs> that's, that's essentially what I'm doing right now. Okay. is definitely scary though. One wooden club, thank you, Ghost Blade, or Mysterious Staff, or Nether Essence. Uh, I think having the extra damage, you can't really deny that having a four times damage potential is very strong. I'll give that to her. Where's Joe? Joe's at six. So I, I have economy. I don't need to be too scared just yet. I don't think there's anything that I can do specifically to deal with Joe. He's playing Dragon Assassin Goblin. That is, I mean, props to him. He's going. He's going for a three-star Dragon Knight. Um, it's a it's a pretty fun build. So hopefully we focus everything on this side. Nice, we got a pretty big crit. Sweet, we absolutely crushed everything on this side. This is the problem that I'm facing though. Everyone's jumping over and just crowding my dwarf sniper, but I think we should be okay. Sweet. We did fine there. How are we doing on my screen? Oh, okay, we won. Evil Knight. Nice. I'm actually going to roll for my Evil Knight. Sweet. That's exactly what I wanted. Now we have a three-star Evil Knight. Can we get a two-star Venom? Yeah, we can. Sweet. It's made us even stronger. I mean, a three-star evil knight, I mean, he's giving everybody around him lifesteal. We have four warlocks, we have four agersis, we have an incredibly stacked three-star dwarf sniper. I don't see us losing very easily. So basically his shadow crawler gets really distracted at the start of the fight. Ah, oh, that's perfect, they just jump over and now they're basically going to get crushed, right? Well, they should do. Yeah, 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 we, we, we win this, we win this. Close, but... It's close, but we win this. Oh, we won the, we won the game! Woo! Yes! Hey, I mean, I'm bringing you random hunter builds here, guys. Uh, if you liked and you like the build, feel free to test it out. Let me know how you got on with it. And uh, hit me a sub. That'd be awesome. Cheers.